Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to Speed and Power 1.1. So, this program was designed by some legendary NFL strength and conditioning coaches, and I just added my flavor to it to make it a little bit more challenging. So we'll get right to it. So, we're gonna start off with the warm up. Now, I was always taught that each warm up you should be at least running half a mile. So, hey Google, how many yards is in half a mile? 0.5 mile equals 880 yards. Okay, so I added up the warm up so you're getting at least 880 yards in. All right, so we're gonna jog twice around the field. The dimensions of the field is 120, 53, and one thirds, and then another 120, another 53. So if we're doing that twice, we should be getting 692 yards, which is gonna be the bulk of half the mile right there. So the next two movements, we're not gonna have to move for as much yards. So then we'll get into side shuffling. We'll be facing the same way and we'll go 50 yards down, 50 yards back, facing the same way. That'll equal another 100 yards. And then we'll back pedal for another 100 yards. That's gonna put us at 892 yards, which is 12 yards more than our half mile mark. So that's a good warm up. We'll get right into the dynamic mobility after that. So heel to butt into high knees. We'll be doing that for 30 yards. 10 yards heel to butt, and then we'll transition right into high knees for the next 20 yards. After that, we'll go skipping high knees to skipping high knees to the side. All right, we're gonna do this for another 30 yards. So the skipping high knees, we're only doing for 10, and then we'll do the skipping high knees and just open our knee up to the side for another 20 yards equaling 30 yards. We'll then do knee tuck lunges, five each side, a total of 10. Make sure you're giving your knee a good hug. Make sure you're getting a good lunge, right? Then we'll get into hamstring walks. Great exercise for the hammy. We're going for 20 yards. We then got power skips for 30 yards. Hip circles, only hip circles forward. So we'll do that 10 times. Today we only have them forward. And then we'll do karaoke's for 20 yards and scorpions five times each side, a total of 10, okay? After the warm-up and the dynamic mobility, you should be sweating now. You should be pretty warm and ready to go. So we'll get right into the lead-up drills. So the first lead-up drill we're doing today is the speed ladder. So I got a couple movements. I'll show you guys going through that. And then we'll go right into push-up starts after that. So we'll be on our chest, push-up position, pop up, once anything signals you to go, we're gonna pop up, run full speed for 10 yards. We'll do three to five of those. So you'll be getting either 30 or 50 yards. This is all about get off right here. Fast, get off, fast, get off, fast, get off. That's what we're thinking. On the ground, get up real fast or run as fast as you can, all right? After we get the warm up, dynamic mobility, and lead up drills, we'll get into the speed work. Now, this is 1.1, so this is kind of prepping you for the, the workouts we have later on in the program. They're gonna be a little bit more tougher and a little more challenging. We're trying to build up your cardio to that point. So when we get to that point, we're not tapping out and we're not exhausted. We're kind of prepared because of we went through this, right? So, we have six 100-yard striders and four 20 to 40-yard backpedaling. So, for the 100-yard striders, I want you going at least 80%, nothing under. You can go more, but we want nothing under 80%. Be honest with yourself, right? We're trying to build you up so that when we get into the tougher weeks of the speed program, you're not tapped out. So make sure you're honest with yourself and you're running at least 80%. Same thing for the back pedal. You're giving me at least 80%, okay? It's not too much to ask for. You should be a little bit tapped. 
you shouldn't be completely done, but your tank should feel a little bit closer to empty at this point. So when we're done with that, we're going to take a minute break. Minute break, get some water, relax, get yourself ready to go into the power slash plyometric movements. We have two movements here, pretty simple. We have 50 jump ropes. And then we have burpee tire jump. So I'm gonna get into both of those a little bit more. So now we have a time cap of 15 minutes or 10 rounds, whatever comes first. So 50 jump ropes, pretty basic. We're doing double leg or single leg, whatever you're more comfortable with. We're gonna do 50. Once you get 50 jump ropes, you're gonna put the jump rope down and you're gonna go right into the burpee tire jumps, right? So we're gonna be, we're gonna do a burpee chest hit the ground, pop back up, and jump over the tire. We're gonna do that once, and that's one round. We'll then go back to the jump ropes, another 50, and then we'll do the burpee tire jumps twice. That is second round. So now we're going up to 10. We're only doing half a pyramid. We're not going back down. So we'll do two burpees, jump ropes, three burpee tire jumps, jump ropes, four burpee tire jumps, jump ropes, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 10 or to the 15 minute timer goes off, right? After that, you should be pretty tapped, pretty tired. So we'll go into the warm down. Now here we can jog, we can walk around the field at a fast pace, we can bike, or we can do an active isolated stretch for 10 minutes. You wanna make sure you're doing this. It's super important to get you ready for tomorrow. So that's what we have today for Speed and Power 1.1. I'm going to head to the turf right now and I'm gonna bang this workout out. Hey, so I just came from the field, finished Prolim Athlete Speed and Power 1.1 and there was a couple of things, well, really just one thing I wanted to edit up in the power slash plyo section. So, now, if we're doing this exercise before our lower body day, the burpee to t uh, the burpee half pyramid to ten, that's pretty tough, right? So we're gonna cut that down to five, and we are going to cut our time cap down to seven minutes and thirty seconds. So instead of fifteen minutes, we'll do seven minutes and thirty seconds, or five rounds, whichever one comes first especially since we're doing this before our lower body day. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself for some reason, or you really want to push yourself to that limit, or you're going low, like you're not going high in weight on lower body day, then you can do it like this. You can do it with the 15 minute time cap and the 10 rounds is how I did it. It was super tough. I only had 13 seconds left. So, you know, it's, it's up to you to play with but I will recommend that you only do seven minutes 30 seconds and five rounds but the workout was great really challenging part the strides got challenging but uh what else yeah man go out there go give it your all you know really challenge yourself especially in the speed work and the power slash plyo work but challenge yourself with everything and that's day one Roll out, rest up, and get ready for day two.